Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Directional Blur Node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and we're going to bring in a Directional Blur. And uh, this is a pretty simple node. Up here you have the type, uh, whether it's linear. And let's go ahead and change our length. So this is the linear directional blur and in here in the gizmo uh, you can move it around but for different blurs it's going to do different things. So you can see for the directional blur the center really doesn't do anything. However, rotating it does. And we've got the radio blur and changing the location will change where the blur starts. And the direction will change the direction. And we've got centered. And you can see this does nothing for the center, but the direction does. And then finally you've got zoom. And if we up this a little bit, you can see it does a zoom blur and going from no blur to where the center is to blur out like a typical zoom blur and of course the the angle changes the angle now you've also got uh, glow down here so you can add some glow if you want and your clippy modes are the typical clippy modes for the frame domain and none so uh let's do something uh, cool with this note. So we're going to change our blur up. I want to change it quite a bit. And before we actually do anything, let's go ahead and track our actress here. So let's bring in a tracker node and input our footage. And we're going to move this tracker, say, on our eye and just track our eye. That'll work. And let's track forward. So there we go. We've got a track on our eye. And we can disconnect this. And we're going to go in our directional blur. And that right between our eyes, right click, and we can connect to the position of the IntelliTractor. So now our blur will follow along with our eye. So uh, let's go ahead and do something cool. We're going to, every time she takes a step, we're gonna rotate this. Let's do minus eight. And I'm sure I'll fast forward this so you don't have to watch all that. So now we've got keyframed with her walk. And we will go ahead and keyframe our length as well. Right there. And we'll do that on every keyframe of her footstep. Then what we'll do is we'll go on every keyframe where her leg is crossing and drop it down to zero. And I'll probably fast forward this so you don't have to sit here. And there we go. We've got that crazy look. And what we can also do is we can bring in a merge note, merge our original footage, our blurred footage on top, bring that in, and we can blend them together. Kind of give us that look. 
maybe a little less. But we can make this a little better. We can bring in a camera shake. And I know I haven't gone over this node and I will eventually. We will bring this down. Bring that up. And I know it looks crazy, but if we go ahead and cut our audio on. a cool music video style shake effect using the directional blur. I'll see you in the next episode.